Hey guys and welcome back to Human Resource Machine Where I have been working on this fucking level 28 for so bloody long And I think I've got it, I think I've got it Um, it's... Uh, it's nothing to do with this, I actually wrote it all down pen and paper style and Jesus Christ was it Uh, I don't need... Right, let's... To save confusion, we're going to use A, or we're going to use B, and we're going to use C. Alright, we're not going to use these, although I was on the right track with this. I'm going to use a store. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab from the inbox, I'm going to copy it to A. Grab from the inbox, copy it to B, grab from the inbox, copy it to C. Easy? Easy. So, right now, we will be holding C. Alright, this is just to, just to keep my mind right. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll subtract C from B. And then... If that is zeroed or negative, we want it to go past, and if it is not zero or negative, then we know that C is bigger than B. So what we then do is we'll copy that, we copy C to the store, uh, sorry we copy what we've got, not C to the store, we copy what we're holding to the store. And then we add B back on, which is essentially going to give us C. So we add B back on, which gives us C. And then we copy that to B. And then we subtract from the store. And then copy that to C. Alright, so basically now we've got these two are ordered the right way. Or if it's the other way around, then what we do is we copy what we've got here. Which is just after we subtracted B. We know that these two are in the right orders. So if we make this small, medium, large, it makes a bit more sense. But yeah, you get the gist. You get the gist. It just saves us using extra le levels and things. Right, so we've got... We know we've got... We know that B is larger than C, so that's in the right place. But now we need to find if B is larger than A to put that in the right place. So what we do is we... Probably from B and subtract A. And then if that is zero... Or negative... Then what we need to do is... Pull it this way. Alright, if that is zero or negative, it needs to go past this next bit. So, if it uh, isn't zero or negative, then we know that B is larger than A. So, what we need to do now is we need to swap A and B about. So, what we do is we copy what we've got in our hand to the store. Then we add A again, which essentially gives us B. And then we copy that to A. And then subtract what we've got from the store. And that then copies to B. Is that right? Uh, yep, and that's just got A, B, and C and the right order for that. And then what we need to do is we need to copy from C again. Which should technically be the smallest. But then what we need to do is we need to jump it all the way back to here where we're holding on to C. Alright, so we'll jump it back to here so we're holding on to C. And basically what that does is it reorganizes it again. So it'll go through all these steps, reorganizing it again. Um, because it might not be organized properly because we've jumped some in between these steps. Right, I'm reading this all from my notepad because 
Jesus Christ, was it a lot of work? Is that right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So we're copying it all back here. Okay, so if we walk through it, uh, once we get here, basically we copy from... Uh, yep, we copy... Oh, shit. Okay. We copy from C. Outbox. Copy from B. Outbox. Copy from A. Outbox. Jump. All the way back to the start. Uh, so, you can see if I click on this, you can see some other crap that I went through. This one, this one, this is the one. Where I went through it all trying to do it separately. Uh, that was my working one. Where we've got... There we go. So, if we... So, we're holding on to C. If we bring it in, and we remove B, and it's not right, then it leaves... Yeah. Let's just watch it working. It'll probably make more sense to you. Alright, so we've got 9, 4, and 3. Alright, does that make sense? Let's subtract them. Okay, so it makes sense that it was in the correct order to begin with. So the store was not used because it just jumped everything. So you cut it down to two things as opposed to try to compare, compare all three of them at once. So we'll see him go through this one. This one will be a bit more obvious. Alright, and it's like, oh, wait a minute. That's not right. So let's put the 8 there and subtract the 2 again and shove the 6 back where it should be. Now let's see what one's bigger out of these two. Ah, that one's bigger. So basically, because we move the 8 into the B slot, we need to recompare the C and the B to make sure that those two are right. And if they're not, then they need to be shifted around. It takes a lot of steps, but I think progra programmatically it's the best, it's the neatest solution. There we go. I've missed out some of my annotations that I've done when I was actually working it out. Get rid of you. I've got the one. Those will go okay, so we've got the five there. Yes, it's beautiful. Uh, I love it. It's like, okay, so that one's the smallest. Oh man. do you love it when a plan comes together? Probably one of the toughest ones that I've done so far. Um, it took me a lot of time to figure it out. I don't want the same order anyway, so it doesn't even need to use the store. Beautiful. What a royal pain in the arse that was. 32 commands! 128 steps! Yeah, okay. I'll go with that. Right, let's do 29 storage floor. Surprisingly, a lot easier than the other ones! Big changes are coming. Are you guys old now? I see you know that already. Yes, you can now access slots on the floor indirectly. What does that mean? You'll see. It's going to change everything. Uh, imagine each thing in the inbox and an address, and each address refers to 0 to 9 on the floor. Your task for each address in the inbox, pick up a letter at that address and outbox it. Congratulations, you can now access tiles indirectly. Observe how it works with this example. So we're copying from 12, and it's Y. Okay. What we need to do is bring something in, make this. I'm going to stop using store and just use temp. Okay, so copy, grab it from the inbox, copy it to temp, and then, wait, I don't, do I need to copy it to temp? Yeah, I think I do need to, and then copy from temp, box. jump to the start, done. Give me an issue. There we go. Should be minimum steps as well. I, I couldn't see how you could do it with less commands or less steps. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was a very simple one. String storage floor. 
Right. Special covert ex assignment. Management is requesting strings from the floor. Let's just process the strings and not read or discuss what they say. It'd be impolite to read messages intended for someone else and forbidden. Each thing in the inbox is an address of a tile on the floor. For each address provided in the inbox, outbox the requested item on the floor and all following items in the floor until you reach a zero. Then repeat. For each address provided in the inbox, outbox box the requested item from the floor and all following items from the floor until you reach a zero. <laughs> Get th tar awake is xxx. Okay. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to inbox copy to what I'm going to call temp again. Okay. Copy from. Temp. If it's zero, jump back to the start. Else outbox it. And then jump back to the start. That's pretty much how it works. Oh shit, no, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Uh, copy from temp and outbox it. Then. Bump down temp. Oh, yeah, that's right. If it's zero, jump back to the start. If not, outbox it, bump down temp. Then back to here. That should be right. Alright, so we've got the four. That should be bump up temp. Bye bye. Aid. Okay, we got the four. That's a T. Outbox is it. EH. Okay. The. Oh, this is pretty cool. The tar. Get. <laughs> the target's awake. Okay. Got you. <laughs> the target XXX. Is awake. X X. X X. Take this X X. Okay. <laughs> String storage floor. That should be yeah. That should be perfectly fine. Two hundred three or fewer steps. Yep. Couldn't imagine doing that any quicker either. Right, string reverse. Eh. Hello. How are you today? Ah, uh -huh. ah, okay, no, seriously. <laughs> Put zero terminate string in the inbox, reverse it, and put the result in the outbox. Repeat. Right. Inbox. Copy to. Whatever that says. No, 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 no. Copy from 14 to 13. An inbox from 13. Okay, and then bump that up. And then jump back to the inbox.
then if it is zero, copy from 13, to the out box, and then bump down 13. If it is negative, head back to the start. Make sense? Let's see. N. Oh, you should be on pop 13. I shouldn't be doing anything to 14. 14 is necessary to stay zero. You can add copy from with an empty tile on the floor. Alright, so, sorry, if it's... If it's zero, you need to bump down... 13. Okay. Bad tile address, negative one, tile address and negative one doesn't exist. Where do you think you're going? Uh, that's not, oh, hmm. Right, okay. Can I... Is that right the start? Yeah, it is. If it's zero, go back. Maybe an extra step, though. Should work, though. Oh, well, that's the thing. I shouldn't need to... I shouldn't need to do that. Or that. I should just be able to use 14 for everything then. Because we're gonna we're gonna take it back to zero. Which will save me a couple of steps at least. Alright, there we go. Speed through it. Oh, shizzle wizzle. Wait, what happened there then? Why would I expect a bee? Okay, let's walk through this slowly then. See what happened. Drops the A. Bumps that up. Drops the R. Oh, wait a minute, you don't need to... You need to copy from. Alright. Copies it to there. Bumps up one. Oh, is it to there? Bumps it up one. Oh, is it to there? Bumps it up one. Copies oh, it from there. Realizes it's zero. Bumps that down one and then goes to the K. Copies from that. Outboxes it. Bumps it down one. Copies it from that. Outboxes it. Bumps it down one. Bumps it. Bumps it down one. Inbox. It's not zero, so copy it to there. Bump that up one. It's not a zero, copy it to there. Bump that up one. It's not a zero, copy it to there. Bump that up one. Not a zero, 
Pop it to there. Pump that one. Uh, as a zero. Pump it down one. Grab the third one. Shove it in. Why would you expect N? Oh, okay, so this needs to, that does need to be F negative. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, I'm an idiot. That should work now. Uh. Hmm. If it's negative. Okay, it tries to then place that in the... Ah, uh, okay. Okay, let's grab... Copy from zero. Copy to 13. Let's use 13 for everything again. Okay, that should work then. Wait a second. Oops. My bad. There we go, that should work for everything now. Perfect. Might not be the right li number of uh, commands. Uh, two more commands. I could probably just trim it. Hey, I got the steps though. But that's going to have to do us for this episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve. You've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.